Brennan. This is CBS 2 News at 6. Right now at 6 Breaking News, a deadly police shooting in Queens. The weapon police say the man was carrying when officers shot and killed him. And this. This is tragedy beyond words. Uh, and we just want to support the Dellers right now. Remembering the NYPD officer killed in the line of duty, how Long Islanders are coming together to honor Jonathan Diller. Also tonight. Last minute protests, even as congestion pricing gets final approval from the MTA. And breaking news tonight, former Connecticut Senator Joe Lieberman has died. Looking back tonight at his political legacy. Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. And I'm Dick Brennan. We begin with that breaking news. A man shot and killed by police had happened inside his home in Queens. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live on the scene in Ozone Park right now with details. Ali. Well, Dana and Dick, police say they were initially called to this house by a 19-year-old man who expressed to 911 that he was experiencing a mental crisis. Police say when the officers arrived, the man came at them with a pair of scissors. Police were initially called to the house here at 103rd Street off of 101st Avenue in Ozone Park around... On our air, reflection of who our audience is, and in our coverage. Still a lot of work to be done, but we've done a lot of work on it. And I'm so, so proud to be part of that history. And Dana, we want to say thank you. Thanks. It is the greatest honor, the greatest privilege to sit beside you, but the real honor is for New York City to have you seated here. Oh. Because you have been an extraordinary force, not just in journalism, but in the way you touch people's you. lives. And as, as usual, you said it best, you <laughs> said it first, that steady hand in rough times, in good times, you've always been here. And you've been a stickler for getting it right all I'm a grammar the time. nerd. Oh, Thank you, you have no idea for indulging me. I want to say that was pre-taped because I didn't want to ugly cry. Yeah. And so I'm going to just say one other thing, or two or three. And I want to thank our competitors and our local newsrooms, reporters and photographers on the streets. We're, we're close. You know, we all work for you. And my, my family, including my Uncle David, whom we profiled for Black History Month two years ago, he was the first black pilot for a major U.S. airline, American Airlines. He passed away this month. This His is today. His obituary is in the New York Times today. Yes. Mm. I love you, Uncle David. He was a great supporter, too. Dana, we love you. We oh, are proud really. of you. Thanks. And we look forward to having you around, because you're always around. Not going. That's you're right. Not, going not leaving this I, area. I, I, no. <clears throat> it's been an honor. Thank it's been you. A pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Dainzy. I do want to say this. The CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell <laughs> is up next. I'm Dana Tyler. Good night. Thank you. If we can stop.